So today I'm talking about a P0206 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0206 code? Well, it's an ejector circuit open malfunction cylinder six. And so what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder in the engine is gonna have a fuel injector that's injecting fuel into that cylinder. But when you get this P0206 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these, mainly the cylinder six fuel injector. If you were to get a P0201, that would point to the number one cylinder, P0202, number two cylinder, and so on and so on. So the first thing to do when you get this code is to locate cylinder number six on your particular engine, since there is differences. So if you go and Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you locate the number six cylinder, that's going to be the one having the problems. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0206 code? Well, the main things that can cause this is that either that fuel injector on cylinder number six has gone bad and needs to be replaced, or there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring, like an open, a short, a blown fuse, something like that. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. I made a full video on how you can go about doing this, how you can test the fuel injector and the wiring going to the fuel injector. I'll put a link down below in the description box below if you need to check that out. But basically, the first thing I would do is go test the fuel injector and be sure that's good. If you have a multimeter, you could go and test it. And each one of these fuel injectors is going to have a set ohms that it's supposed to be at. So if you have a meter, you can go look up what the set ohms are supposed to be for that particular vehicle. Since again, there's going to be differences, you can set your meter to ohms and check to see if it's inside that range. And if it's not, then you know it's bad, you know it needs to be replaced. If you can't find what those set ohms are supposed to be, what you could do is you could test the fuel injector that is working. You could check to see what the ohms is on that, and then check to see if cylinder six is good, that if it is at those set ohms. Because how these fuel injectors work is they have a little coil inside there that the computer sends voltage to that energizes it, and it pulls up on a little magnet that's going to let fuel go into that cylinder. So to test the electrical part of that fuel injector, you test that coil and be sure that it's not open and that it's at the right ohms. And if it's not, then you know it's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. If that fuel injector tests good, then the next thing to go and test is going to be the wiring. And if you do go to check out the wiring, it's always a good idea to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on, since there can be differences. But usually what's going on with these fuel injectors is that you're going to have two wires going to them. You're going to have positive voltage and you're going to have negative voltage. The positive voltage, which is usually 12 volts, is always going to be on once the key is inside the on position. So 12 volts going to that fuel injector is always going to be on. And the computer is going to control the negative side to control the circuit. So what you could use, you could use a test light or you can use a meter. Put the key in the on position and be sure that you're getting 12 volts to that circuit on one of the wires. And if you're not getting 12 volts to that circuit, then you know there's a problem right there. There's some kind of issue why you're not getting 12 volts to that circuit. When you do that, it's a good idea to go to like positive and negative on the battery terminals. You can't quickly go to each one of these wires just to test the whole circuit. But to test each one of those wires separately, it's a good idea to use a separate ground when testing positive and then go to the positive side of the battery when you're testing negative. The computer is going to control the negative side when the engine's running. It's going to pulse it. So the negative side can be a little more difficult to test. If you have a 12 volt light, what you can do is you could go to the negative side that the computer is sending a pulse to. And when the engine's running, you should see that little light inside there start to pulse. You should see a little pulse inside there. Again, I made a full video on all this. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. There's also some dedicated lights for this called Noid lights. These are real low cost little devices that basically make it easier to see that pulse that happens when the computer sends that signal to it. These are real low cost devices. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check these out. But basically that's a common way to go and test this circuit. Again, I made a full video on this. The link will be in the description box below. But the main things that's going to cause a P0206 code is either the fuel injector has gone bad or there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0206 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.